What's going on, guys? This is the top five brilliant moves from Richard Report. You know, you got the candidates coming up, so we got to check the best fives, the top brilliant moves from some of the players, right? We got Richard Report here. Now, of course, this is uh, Niels Grandilius with the white pieces versus Richard Report. So we're in the first one here. It's black to move. What do you do in this position, right? So it's black to move right now. Let's take a stock of the position and kind of look at what's going on. You can pause the video if you need to, but you got to figure this one out. What did Richard Rapport play in this position against Niels Grandilius with the black pieces? Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Pause the video if you need to, of course. So queen um, is attacking the queen here. We could capture. It could be a queen trade, right? We do want to look at checks and captures and threats. We can threaten mate, but he's just going to take us, right? He's going to capture us. Maybe rook takes b3, that doesn't look good. Pawn takes or knight takes, okay? Right, I mean, rook takes f7, he's on our seventh rank. What do you do here? What do you do? Sometimes one of the best ways to make things happen in a game is to look at moves that you did not consider. The crazy moves like this one right here. Rook h1, oh my goodness. Rook h1, and he's done. That is a move right there, big fella, from a big fella. That's disgusting. After queen takes queen, that's mean. Rook takes d1, and he's done. That's mate right there. That's beautiful. So, of course, that doesn't happen. So, after rook h1, well, okay, what's the possibility? What if I just take the rook? Come on now. Well, queen c3, gg, start a new one. That's mate right there. There's no way to stop this checkmate. Oh, you know what? There is. <laughs> the computer way. Okay, so king takes, and then we're going to checkmate here on b2, right? But um, that's mate as well. So what happened is Niels plays rook to g1 and says, ah, very clever. Very clever. That was cool. And then uh, he just takes the rook. And uh, you can cue the, the fail noises everywhere. This is over, right? Queen takes g1 and queen c3, and black wins. The game's over. That was brilliant right here, that rook h1. How beautiful was that from um, from Rapport here, finding rook h1 against Nils here. This was number one, top five, brilliant move. Let's move on to number two. Okay, guys, here we are with number two. This one is Loic Van Welly versus Richard Rapport. Okay, black pieces here. Let's take stock. What's going on? First off, queen hanging. Your queen is hanging. Pause this video if you need to. Look at the whole board. And then come up with a move or two or a combination, whatever you have, but it's black to move. What do you do? Let's take stock, right? Queen's hanging. King looking kind of crazy. His king's not. We have an open rook file, but I mean, not really much is going on there right now, right? Because our queen is hanging. Like the queen's hanging. So we have to deal with this, right? Well, how do you deal with it? What do you do? Here's the move here. In fact, Richard Report says my queen hanging. So when my queen is hanging, well, the logic behind when my queen is hanging is to sack it. Sacrifice the queen. That's the right logic, says Richard Report. Rook takes h2. Sacrifice it. So after rook takes h2, wow, what happens? Well, let's see what happens after queen takes queen. After queen takes, rook takes g2. And what do you do? King f1, you can't go to obvious, right? You're in check. And you have to move the king. And then we have rook to h6 mate. What a checkmate. Queen sacrifice mate. Okay, not mate just yet. Bishop h4, but that's going to be easy. Rook takes h4 for the score. That's mate, right? That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. What a sacrifice. Rook takes h2. Nasty move, right? Well, okay, okay, cool. That's cute, right? All right, I can't take your queen. All right, cool, cool, cool. What happens if I take the rook then, right? Why well, was if I take the rook? Boom. If I take the rook, well, then queen takes f2. Now, in fact, after rook takes h2, game's already over. Resi on the spot. Resignation. Right? This is game over. Rook takes h2, but we just want to kind of see what happens, right? If king takes h2, you have two choices. Rook check, but I mean, he just goes back. And you just don't want to deal with that, right? Queen takes f2 is just the best move. Threatening rook h6 and mate. Also threatening queen g2 mate. A double mate threat here. In fact, queen takes e3, probably one of your best moves, which is still going to lead to mate anyway. Well, that was pretty cool. This was number two. Let's move on to number three. Okay, guys, here we are with number three. This one is Richard Report versus Daniel Deverney. So, okay, Richard Report's playing white here. What do you do in this position? Again, we take stock. We observe. What is going on? Well, let's take a look here. In fact, pause the video once again if you need to. Let's let's see what's going on. It's white to move. Okay, my queen is actually X-raying the king. If I move this pawn, my queen is absolutely hanging. So F6, pawn takes. I mean, that's scary because my queen is straight up hanging. I do have a pawn over here. Maybe I could push it. 
I have the two bishops. You just want to take stock. What's going on, right? Before you start calculating, you got to see what do you have? I got two bishops. Can we down anything, right? We have the two rooks, kings in a corner. I mean, it's like double edge for real here. In fact, black might be even playing for more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. We got the two bishops, but they're kind of tucking. I mean, we're on his king, but our queen is kind of pinned. This is a nuts position. This requires a lot of precision and calculation. But of course, that's up for you to do right now. It is white to move. You're playing Richard Report. What do you do? Playing as Richard Report, in fact. So that's who you're playing as right here. White to move. The move is, well, if I'm dealing with some queen issues like we've seen before, right? What was the saying, right? If we have some queen issues, right? We sacrifice the queen. What else did you think we were going to do here? Sacrifice the queen. Absolutely. We didn't even think about the next move, right? Queen takes g4, right? Now, of course, after f takes g6, the game's over, resigns. But let's see what happens after queen takes g4. You play h7, right? h7, clap it up for you. You said h7, garbage. It's not a move at all. That is not a move. h7 does not work. You actually are done for, right? h7, I just move out of the way and have a nice day. Really, probably king h8. But this doesn't work. The idea here was after sacrificing the queen is I'm going to get it right back. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Very serious. After the king moves, then I'm going to take this and I get a queen. And you don't have any logical checks here. Queen takes g2. Come on. Right? That's not going to happen. And then we have this, right? This pressure here. What a queen sacrifice. F takes g6 is winning on the spot. Followed by this, obviously. And we have the x-ray. And your queen is hanging after, I mean, obviously you have to take mine. So this was an awesome move. That was sweet, that was number three. Let's move on to number four. Here we are with number four, a real, real, real spicy one. Okay, we got Jan Christoph Duda versus Richard Report with the black pieces. Okay, cool, look at this position. First off, what's going on? Well, Duda is about to mate, okay? He's going to checkmate Richard Report in a moment's notice. This is critical, very critical right now. Very critical. By the way, this is not checkmate. So, you know, uh, SpongeBob fail noise, right? For you guys that, you know, got hit, hit here. Oh, it's made one. Not at all. Absolutely not. Not made here. The queen is defending. So if you thought that, that's okay. You're going to be just fine. We love you. Okay. Queen H4 is defending that. Queen H8 is checkmate. We have to deal with this as black. So do we run with the king? Do we need some luff? But we probably still getting mated after queen H8, rook G8, check into oblivion there. King G7 is still going to be made there. We're running out of ideas. We don't have any good checks. Rook H4 and queen H4 and queen G3 are not good checks. This is, I mean, like, this don't work. So what do you do? Well, that's up to you to figure out black to move. Here it is. Richard Report played this move right here. He says, well, you know what? I remember right. Sack the queen, huh? <laughs> this is not a sack the queen one, guys. This is not a queen sacrifice one. But in fact, it is sacrifice something. And that something is the rook. You better look because uh, you're in trouble if you take this rook. Yeah, no, I am. Okay, rook c8. There it is. Rook c8 and we great big boy move there. Oh, my goodness. Rook c8. Look at this move. I mean... The the caliber of strength of this move is just next level, guys. Not only does it block the checkmate, right? I've dealt with checkmate. Number two is now, okay, well, what's, uh, I'm attacking the queen. Like, why is this so big? Well, it's attacking the queen. It can, it can be captured by two pieces, the queen and the rook. Let's see what happens, right? Now, of course, if, rook, if queen takes c8, there's an obvious bishop e6. I mean, come on now. Come on now, right? You got to give it to the queen. So he takes with the rook. Rook takes c8, bishop e6 anyway. This is almost checkmate. White has g4, right? Now we're going to attack the king. Pawn takes g4. There is still mate, so everything needs to be fast. It needs to be accurate. It needs to be now, right? Because if you do anything that is not check, well, you get mated. So f takes g4, f takes g, or h takes g4, f takes g4 with check. And then here it is. Boom, queen takes e3. That's with check. And the king is like, you know, instead of going back here, I'm very exposed. He just decided to run up the board. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm out of the way. Have a nice day, right? I mean, plus there's like all kinds of stuff. Probably losing in game two, two after bishop takes. There's a lot that can go on. But after king h4, um, you can also check and take two as well. But king h4, the move here actually wins on the spot. Here is queen f2. You're like, what? Queen f2? How does this win? Isn't this just a draw? Well, in fact, you're going to draw nothing here. The king g5. So here is a nice sequence. Let's see if you can find it. Pause the video if you need to. Spot it. What do you do here with black now? 
What do you do with black now? The king is on g5. You still have the May threat available. That's why here, what do we do? Well, in fact, the simple move here is actually just taking the rook. Literally, you're just up a rook. Engine gives best move for white is queen f6. Right? Queen f6. Because <laughs> it stops the move. What's the intention after queen takes f6 is mate? Go ahead. Take a look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know. Go ahead. Look at it. It's mate. It's checkmate. I know, right? It's, it's, it's amazing. It's checkmate, right? It's mate. It's a strange one, but it's mate. Queen is defending the mate, covering all the squares. Everything's covered. Absolutely brilliant stuff here from report. Absolutely brilliant, right? And after queen f2, there was a resignation. Queen f2 and uh, Duda resigns here. So this was number four. Now let's move on to the final brilliant move from Richard Report. Okay, guys, here we are with number five. This one is Richard Report versus Peter Spidler. So you know always they're going to be just playing strong, strong players, right? Peter Spidler's no different. Super, super strong. It's white to move. What do you do? Crazy position. Looks like something was just captured, right? And you're like, oh, yeah, the bishop's hanging. But you do want to look at king safety. Where is your king? What's going on with his king? Where are the pieces? How's development look? There's questions you need to answer here, right? So what do we do? White to move. Let's uh, think about this. Pause the video again if you need to. What do we do? Okay, so a, a big thing is in tactics all the time, but also in just chess period is being aggressive, but also looking for moves that threaten things and attack. Now, of course, I can just capture the bishop, but if you thought rook f4, great job. You found the right move, but you have to find the right follow-up. Rook f4 is attacking the queen. Nice move here. The queen needs to actually defend the rook, because if you move anywhere else, queen g5, all right, queen h4 obviously is stupid too, but queen g5 leads to mate on the move by taking rook takes f8, or queen takes f8 is going to lead to mate immediately. So queen to d8, logical move, says trade everything off. I'm cool with that, says black, says Fiddler here. But Richard Report had other intentions here. It is white to move, chat. Can you find this? If you're watching this from YouTube right now, can you find this move? White to move. It is not the move that you are thinking. What is it? Here's the move here. If you found this move, oh yeah. Oh, you ready. Oh, you're definitely ready. Bishop takes D7. Oh my goodness. Whoa. You can feel the shockwave through the earth after Bishop takes D7. What a move. What on earth is this? How does this even work? Can he just take it? Yeah, he can take many things, actually. In fact, after Bishop takes d7, the game ends on the spot right here. Game's over, no more PGN. But what I'm saying here is after Bishop takes d7, right, what happens here, let's just look at a few things. If Knight takes d7, right, Queen takes c6, right, you can't go up, so Rook f7 is going to be made. Beautiful, gross. So, okay, let's move, let's move this around. If Queen takes, Queen takes f8, we already saw that. So that's a diversion, obviously. We also just took a pawn with the bishop, so we captured it on e6. Well, what else is available? After knight takes d7 or queen takes, we looked at those. Well, we have this. Rook takes f4. Maybe we can bail out. Oh, you thought you were. Bishop takes e6. I'm going to take the whole house. It said everything must go sell. Everything got to go. After check, rook f7, we're going to hit him right here, split him. That's mate. Everything's done. That's game over. Gross move. Bishop d7, game ending move on the spot. What a move there. And Richard Report was able to find it here against Peter Spiller. This was the top five. Brilliant moves from Richard Report. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, this video here. And if you did, then make sure you guys watch the videos, of course, right above me after this video. So we'll see you guys on the next video.